life. Right? If he, barakallahu feekum, throughout his life have little more, you might not see the change in him. But the one that was never used to wealth, to money, now the minute he has it, Akhi, it's it. It's done. It's a wrap. It's a done deal. The individual will make a 360 degree change. Why? Because he was not used to that, to that money. He will talk different. He will walk different. He will, he will even eat different. He used to eat tiga mocha, but not anymore. He eat chick fil A now. Right? He, what you call it? Ryan. Uh, what's that uh, steak place? Ryan. Huh? Ryan's? Right. Longhorn. Uh, the other one, the lobster. Huh? Huh? Red lobster. That's the way I'm looking for. Right? And then look at this, Barakallah. Just listen, look at this. All of those kids that grew up in the project. We're leaving off peanut butter and peanut butter and jelly sandwich. They're the ones that go to the club and blow about a hundred thousand dollars in a night. Look at this. Twenty thousand dollars in one night. You wanna wonder what is what what are you buying in one night? And those when you say a night, it's not about five hours. It's about two hours, three hours. What can you buy from what you drink that would cost twenty thousand dollars? But if they would have think where they came from, if they would have think where they came from, from peanut butter and jelly sandwich, that barakallah fikum, you will see that this individual, he is very much different from somebody, alhamdulillah, that was raised and have a decent life, that today he got this cash, he is not going to act just like that. He's not going to act the same way like that. So now they are the new wealthy ones. They are the new wealthy ones. They will impose that. Wa ashabu al mudahara, and they are showing that off. They are openly manifesting that they have money. They openly manifesting that I have money. And Allah Akbar, Akhi know that wealth is only from Allah. Anybody brag about it, just give them a minute. Anybody that brag about it, give them a minute. Where are these guys that be making it rain? Where are they today? Have those that are doing it today learn from the mistake of those who were before them? That's not long ago. Where are those, Barakallah Fiq? This guy with his, the boxer. What's his name again? No, 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 the, the present one, the present one. Mayweather. Like a bundle of money, like on a telephone. A toilet, toilet, a toilet seat, right? A toilet made out of gold. Going to the restaurant, you don't need their utensils, their fork and spoon. You got your own, your, your own stack of spoons and fork made out of gold that you eat with. Wait and see. Don't go nowhere, stay tuned. We we seen those before him. Where Tyson made millions in few seconds, millions of dollars, not dollars. I'm talking about millions of dollars, Ahi, not pesos. Millions of dollars in few seconds. Was it five or seven seconds? Nine seconds. Barakallah fiq. Few seconds made millions of dollars. Where he at today? Where is Holyfield? If these people would have learned from those who came before them, it would be better for them. But what is sad, it's not their situation, but the situation of the Muslims that are looking at the lifestyles of these disbelievers. That's what is sad. That's what is sad. Allah Jalla wa Allah has clearly told us what to do in this life. وَبْتَغِي فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهُ دَارَ الْآخِرَةِ وَلَا تَنْسَى نَصِيبَكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا then seek, seek what was given of a share for you in this life. But don't forget about the hereafter. Don't forget about the hereafter. Don't forget about the hereafter. Alhamdulillah, what benefits, what benefits the person is to be dutiful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's the key, man. 
It's not that you're the hardest workers in the block. Or you're the first one to be in the, in, at work, the last one to leave. That's, that's, that's not it. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ إيش؟ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجَ وَيَرْزُقُهُ مِنْ حَيْثْ لَا يَحْتَسِبْ And Allah will provide for him from ways that he never taught. From ways that he never taught. So the Shaykh Hafizahullah, and we we'll finish with this. He mentioned, هَذَا مِنْ عَلَامَاتِ السَّاعَةِ And these are from the signs of the, the signs of the, of the hour. From the signs of the hour. وَكَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ As you all know. فَإِنَّ الرَّسُولَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ لَا يَنْتِقْ عَنِ الْهَوَى As we all know, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam doesn't speak out of his whims, out of his desires. He doesn't speak out of his desires. Right? And as the hadith of the hadith of Abdullah ibn Umar, he used to write Right? He used to write the statement of the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Some people talk, tell him, don't, don't write it. لِأَنَّهُ بَشَرْ يَتَكَلَّمْ وَهُوَ يَغْدَبْ وَفِي حَالِ الرِّضَى He will speak while he's happy and he's, sometimes he'll speak while he's not happy. In other words, to say, well, he's speaking out of his emotions. Because what you say, the words you say when you are happy, they are different from the words you say when you are angry. Right? When a husband is mad at his wife, he's not gonna he is not gonna tell her I love you. Uh, is it? No. Abu, what'd you say? Oh, okay. You better not answer now. <laughs> right? So things that you say when you are displeased is not the same thing that what you say you when you are pleased. Why? Because it's what drives you to, to say it is what? Your feelings, your emotions. But the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Uktub minni, write from me. For indeed, whatever I say is the truth. And whatever I say is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For indeed, whatever I say is from Allah, whatever I say is indeed from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it is the truth. So he said, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, kama ta'lamun. فَإِنَّ رَسُولَ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ لَا يَنْتِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى He said that the Messenger صلى الله عليه وسلم He doesn't speak out of his desires. كَمَا تَعْلَمُونَ الْآنَ كَيْفَ حَالُ النَّاسِ As you see today, what is the situation of the people? Exactly, exactly what is going on. Now you go, بارك الله فيكم, in some of the lands. You go in the cities, in the prime area, downtown of the areas. You ask who owned this building? They tell you this guy from village so and so. You say, what guy? The guy that did, and you describe him. Man, this guy poor, no clothes on, no shoes. He used to have donkeys and this, he's the one that owned this building. And this is Barakallah for you all over the world now. All over the world. Those who used to have the sheep living in the desert, now they are the owners of the downtown areas. They are the owners of the city. They are the owners of the tallest building that you will see. He said, لَقَدْ تَغَيَّرَتْ أَحْوَالِ الْأَحْوَالِ وَتَحَوَّلَ الْفُقَرَاءِ إِلَىٰ أَغْنِيَا He said, the matters has changed now. Things has changed. The people, they have changed. He said, those who used to be poor are the new rich ones today. Those who are poor are today the new rich ones. He said that the situation has changed. They are the people of wealth. They are the people of wealth. He said, وَتَحْدَرَتْ الْبَادِيَةِ And now the village has been modernized. Without a doubt. Right? The village has been modernized. The village has been modernized. Back in the days... Right? You bear with me. Back in the days, for a person in this village to make a phone call, he got to go. He got to go. Huh? Oh, pay phone? Man. <laughs> no, pay phone is, alhamdulillah, pay phone was good. But to make a, a phone call from this village to other village, you got to take a trip. 
You got to take a trip. Right? You got to take a trip. You got to plan that trip. Or if the person that, gotta, that, call, that need to call you, you got to set up that time. Listen, call me next week at 9 o'clock Tuesday. Now Monday you're going to depart from your village. You'll be on a monkey, I mean on a donkey. You'll be on the horses. You'll be on the walking until you get to that nearest post office. It was not no pay phone. Post office. And there is a line waiting. But now today, it's not the case. Everybody in the city, in the, in the village has a smartphone. Everybody and, the, everybody and their mama, they have what? They have a smartphone. They have WhatsApp. They can talk to you right now from the bottom of the village. From the deeper of the village, they will call you right now. Wherever you are, it is not a problem no more. That shows what? The internet access, the computer access. So now it is a worldwide village. Under one umbrella. So the village that was back in the days, right? An area of poverty it has been today went to the next level of being what? Being a modern place. Being a modern place. Nasha Hafidahullah, and to finish, he mentioned, and they are building, he said that they are building, and they are competing in the tall buildings. And this is the intent of what the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said. Insha'Allah ta'ala in our next sitting we'll be reading. Qala, and the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said, meaning Hadith Umar, he said, فَمَضَى and I remain, فَلَبِثْنَا مَلِيًّا and we remain upon that for a long period of time or for a few time. فَقَالَ and the Messenger said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, يَا عُمَر, O oh, Umar, أَتَدْرِي مَنِ السَّائِلْ Do you know who was the questioner? قُلْتُ I say, meaning Umar, Allahu wa rasooluhu a'lam, Allah, and his messenger know best. قَالَ Umar say, هَذَا, this was Jibreel, أَتَاكُمْ, he came to you, يُعَلِّمُكُمْ أَمْرُ دِينُكُمْ He came to teach you the affairs of your religion. Insha'Allah ta'ala, this is what we will be covering next week. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. If there was any mistake that I have done, please rectify me. May Allah, the one that is free from any imperfection, rectify in your affairs. Amen. Let everybody say one thing and we close out. Right, there are three sides of the, of the hereafter. Right, the Prophet Sallallahu used to sometimes walk, walk with barefooted. Not all the time. Sometimes. Right, Jibreel Ali Sallallahu Alaihi came to the Prophet and asked him questions. The beast will devour anything on his way. The people of the desert, they are the new rich ones. That they are not no longer living in there. When, when the hour comes, you, you will see people walking naked. But they have no clothes. Say it one more time. It's, it's one of the signs of people without clothes. It's one of the signs of the hour. Oh, no, 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 no. The sign of the hour is that those who used to not have no clothes, used to be barefooted, they used to, now... When the hour is about to be to hit, they are the one that will be the rich one. They will be the one that have competing in the tall buildings. That doesn't mean that when the hour is about to come, you will see people with nakedness. La. Say it You mean Aisa? Yeah, Aisa. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi doesn't speak out of his own desires. Yes, we are all shepherd, meaning we all have what? 
people under our responsibility.